It wasn't very long ago that the river in Bend was closed off for recreation. And as Bend changed over time from a logging community to different industries, people started looking at the river for recreation. And as that happened, they started going to the river and they were floating and they were boating. And as that was happening, people started recognizing challenges that existed in the river. The planning for the Bend Whitewater Park took about 10 years and it really began with the vision of the Bend Paddle Trail Alliance and looking at the proper site for this Whitewater Park. We had a low head dam in this community that was a hazard along the Deschutes River. And when we started working with the Bend Paddle Trail Alliance, we recognized that this was probably the most appropriate place to build the Whitewater Park. The Deschutes River is a unique river. Uh, you know, the permitting challenges through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers here at the Whitewater Park um, was a joint permit with Oregon uh, Department of Environmental Quality, DEQ, Department of State Lands, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, Oregon Fish and Wildlife, as well as the city of Bend. We have an opportunity to create something that's not just a passageway, but something that could be a real draw to Bend. So that started a process of evaluating feasibility over a decade of how could you do both passageway to make it safer for people, but also create something that was really unique. Um, we have a listed species, the Oregon Spotted Frog, just upstream, uh, known habitat. Uh, we also have uh, irrigation control, both upstream and downstream of this facility, as well as Pacific Power, they operate a hydro plant just downstream. There are other whitewater parks around the, the nation, but this is the only one that we know of that exists with three channels. This has never been done to our knowledge. There's other whitewater parks throughout the world where they've uh, high-graded waves in rivers, but to our knowledge, nobody's ever put three channels side by side, and to do that inside of 500 feet, both the hydrological challenges, the engineering challenges, the permitting challenges. This whitewater channel with all these different features the surfing community that really, I think, caught a lot of us by surprise how popular that turned out to be. We fought this thing through the winter. We fought it through the summer. We fought the hydrological challenge of the Deschutes River. There's so much engineering as well as art and science that goes into designing something that really is gonna work for the user. We had a lot of floaters before the Ben Whitewater Park was built, but once it was completed, the number of floaters really far outseated our expectations. I think people hoped the park would be successful and imagined a lot of people using it, but didn't really understand once it opened actually how successful it turns out to be in terms of drawing people from all over, particularly the Northwest and the West Coast. We had about 230,000 floaters last year, which really puts now the Bend Whitewater Park is probably the number one tourist attraction in Central Oregon during the summer months.